Hey guys, what's poppin'? It is me, Shauna Fit Soul in the house. And I needed to absolutely make this YouTube video because I stayed up all night the other night reading an article on the CIA.gov website. Our government CIA's website on the gateway process. So I'm gonna show my phone to the screen. This was the page one. It was released in 2003. I'm not sure when it was put up on the website, but this is what it says. Approved for release in 2003-09-09-10. And then it says that this, like, this whole analysis, subject analysis ass assessment of the gateway process was written on the 9th of June in 1983. So this is all something that you can literally type in to your browser of Google and look up after you watch this video and like it and click this and click subscribe um, if you wanna do your own research, but I'm gonna pretty much explain it here. That's why you clicked on this video. So pretty much I read through this whole thing at night and it was a hard read because my phone you can clearly see is a toaster and is cracked to shit and also this writing is small is very very small but that's why I took big boy notes my big boy notebook so I could go through it with you guys and this is just kind of off the bat but it was mind-blowing and so pretty much it go, I'm going to pretty much read through this article with you guys and we're just kind of kind of go off my, my brain and what I wrote down and what I remember reading it last night. Um, so pretty much it first talks about your brain hemispheres. So obviously we have the right and the left and how they are synchronizing them in this gateway experience. Um, it uses hypnosis, it uses, so the gateway experience, this thing that they're doing, it includes hypnosis, transcendental meditation, biofeedback, um, the hypnosis part is used to accelerate the process in the early stages of the gateway experience, so like they put you in a hypnosis state for this. <coughs> okay. They also use Kundalini Transcendental Meditation. So they are like using, kind of using this technique in this experience, in this gateway experience. And then biofeedback, third um, third level of consciousness, alter, um, altering method. Um, so your left brain can access the areas in the right brain using a consciousness demand mode. So it's like a really weird thing and now it's coming back to me how I remembered it and it's pretty much like our left and right brain are separated and with transcendental meditation with you know what kundalini meditation that is practices practiced over years by people and you know by these monks and stuff to reach these states of consciousness where it's like you scan their brain, you scan one of a normal person's brain, then it's going to be different because their brain's harmonized because they've taken that time to like literally synchronize the hemispheres of their brain. Like the meditation shit, like it's, it's way more deeper than you think for that state that people talk about. Like it's not woo woo. Like this is reality and our government knows it. Like truly knows it. This shit got deep and I'm going to keep going because it was crazy. So... Pretty much they have a training system to bring you advanced strength and focus. It alters your consciousness, moving it outside the physical sphere. So you guys are probably like, wait, what? Yes, this is all about like out of body experience, but it's like the way you can get to that state consciously is different, is can be sped up by this process. And you know, they're going into how really you can do that. And a lot of people, I feel like, aren't aware of that. I know that I truly, you know, it takes time to really let it sink in that you're able to do that. But I truly know and believe that I have the ability to do that. And so do you. 
um, we all do, and it's, you know, it's all here. This, this was really crazy, but pretty much, pretty much it's to escape the restrictions of time and space. So it goes even deeper than just getting out of your body. Um, and, and this gateway process that our government's doing, um, the participant, participant then gains access to these various levels of intuitive knowledge, which the universe offers. So they, they go into a, a ton of shit in this, but like kind of to simplify it, if you're familiar with the Akashic records and all that spiritual stuff, like that's exactly what they're describing. Um, so they pretty much bring you into the state of the Akashic, the, the knowing, the all universal knowledge. Um, so the gateway process, what they're doing is to accelerate our human mind to resonate at higher vibrational levels. And I contradict contrasted this and almost started crying when I read this because it's like so they're trying to shift humans into 5d into unconditional love and bliss truly and because nothing was bad in this nothing seemed evil and you guys know how I am about thinking that the government's evil um a little bit but this was not that and it's just it's definitely hidden knowledge but it's not bad let me keep going. Um, pretty much frequency following response. Frequency following response. That's something they use. It's a technique they use. And honestly, I couldn't understand it. But I wrote it down because it's it's another step in this process that they're using to unlock this mind. So, like, we got to the intuitive knowledge of the universe. And then we keep going because this is, like, kind of order of how I read it. Um, so the gateway endeavors to provide the subject with tools by which he can alter his consciousness over time through the repetitive use of these tapes. So they're tapes. To access the intuitive means, new categories of in information not available to ordinary consciousness. So this brings, I feel like, a point home that I've been trying to get across to not only myself, but to like my parents and to a lot of people my whole life, like with my whole life path thing that, you know, there's, there's ways to access things and information that are not available to our ordinary consciousness. And that means that there's more and that there's so much more than what we thought that there was. And that leaves me to question things and to seek. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Eight. Role of resonance. So we're going in this this way that I hope it's making sense to you, but it's making sense to me. Role of resonance. Um, it's designed to achieve physical characteristics of deep transcendental meditative states, ideal medium for conveying a telepathical signal because the seat of consciousness and the surrounding environment become a single energy continuum. And this is straight out of text. And I guess that's why I'm reading it that way, because I don't think it gets better than this. Like, this is in a CIA document. Like, we're talking about telepathy here in 1983. And I didn't learn about this in school. We're still not able to use it yet. Why is this hidden? Why is it hidden if we're so positive that it's there? Why can't other people explore it? Why couldn't I have that option to be like, well, maybe I can start learning telepathy and be a telepathy teacher when I grow up. Maybe I like that. Maybe I'd like that. That wasn't an option, was it? No. Um, the consciousness matrix, I just wrote this down, but it was written somewhere in this article. Solid matter does not exist, obviously. We're aware of that one. Um, contrary to what everyone knows is so... It may not be the brain that produces consciousness, but rather consciousness that produces the brain. This was just in the article, and I was like, wow. Drop the mic. Holy shit, my neck. Um, first, we must appreciate... <laughs> um, first, we must appreciate what time and space are in order to understand how the dimensions that they constitute can be transcended. This shit's deep as a state of infinite being. This is all right out the article. Access is open to both the past and the future when the dimensions of when the dimensions of like regular time and space is left behind. I right now see. Um, 
access is open to both the past and future. See, I'm like, re when I focus in, I have to be like in this state to like read it and then focus and then understand what I'm reading and then also record the video and know that I'm doing that. Cosmic egg. But seriously, let me go back on that. Because I think I'm getting crazy for a second. Um, but yeah, like time, I mean, time is, time is just this dimension and we can open the past and the future. This is written 1983. That's what like, like I know this now, but like I wasn't even born in 1983. Cosmic egg. If you guys type in the egg on YouTube, I think it should be the first thing that pops up. I've watched that video with several people and cried each time because it's absolutely immaculate, beautiful and wonderful and hits my heart and hits home. When reality ends, its constitute energy simply returns to infinity in the absolute. So this is explaining source. This is explaining, you know, how I feel like a lot of us people now feel that are transcending into this fifth dimension that I truly believe that we all are. And we're just understanding that death isn't something to be afraid of. And like, we're all source and like we return to source and like, we can always be with source now too. And there's no worries with that. And even when we think that we're not on the path, we're always on the path. And even when we think we're doing it wrong, we're doing it right. And that's just what this explains, this, this new understanding. Affirmation is a statement to affect the individual so they realize they are more than merely a physical body they deeply desire to expand to higher consciousness, higher self. They talked about the higher self in the CIA document. You guys can read it. This is all out of this document. And it's like, if this isn't blowing your mind, I, I don't know because it's definitely blowing mine because yes, this is all true. And we all, like a lot of us in this state, we know that this has been a thing like this is reality and obviously some people think we're crazy but we're not and that's completely fine we've left the box and we're never going back wonderful but this is on our cia government's website that's where i'm like this isn't on the news like telepathy tra time travel new dimensions they go deeper let's keep going focus 12 state problem solving they can pretty much like we all have blocks they talk about they talk about energy centers and like energy but they're referencing chakras pretty much and you know how if you have blocks you have to fix that subconsciously you have to solve through those problems mentally and you know go through things intuitively it, it's weird but they're explaining that color breathing something i never heard of but sounds really interesting i want to look into more um, revitalizing the body, body's energy flows, color breathing. So they're obviously talking about chakras. We know they're all colorful. Channel force from the universe to selected parts of their body for the purpose of healing and revitalization. Self-healing. CIA government document. That's what I've been saying. And I don't know. I've gotten a lot of controversy from a lot of people on the self-healing aspect and I truly believe we're able to self-heal you know maybe not everything but I believe a lot of things that are you know taken where it's like you need this and you need that where it's like no you you can do this if you choose to heal yourself but it's a choice and it's intentional um and they go into a lot of intentionality in here let's keep going remote viewing portal something they wrote um i understand remote viewing briefly it's just you know out it's kind of an out-of-body experience i've i feel like i've seen a lot of movies on it um more so have i experienced remote viewing i've experienced some things that have been interesting i feel like honestly i, I don't know if i ever made a video on it but i did do dmt once and that definitely brought me out of body i think more coherently than ever because i know we all leave our body in our sleep and this obviously states that this actually does state that in that article um that you know we're all consciously we're all usually like we're always 
going in and out of other dimensions in our sleep realms. Um, but like people can remotely view things like truly like see things that they're like not present there. Like their consciousness can travel. Like that's where it's like, that's throwing some people away. Like that's throwing some people off the boat where it's like, what? Like, yes, like this is like, this is reality. Like people can do this and we can be trained all to do this. Secret oral teachings in Tibetan Buddhist, Buddhism was written in the book. And I actually came across that, I want to say like a year ago. I didn't look into it that much, but it really did like fall, like come out to me on YouTube once, like what, like watching some documentary on it and the rainbow body. And th I don't think that was it, that rainbow body is not part of this, but that's part of Tibetan Buddhism and Tibetan Buddhism, this little thing was like written in the CIA government document. Like, why are they talking about Tibetan Buddhism, the secret oral teachings? Like they're, I mean, they confirm it. They're basically saying that that's the truth. That's why I have to look into it more honestly and maybe start practicing that. Cause like, I don't know if I can test this system nor I'm not sure if I'd want to, but it does seem very, very interesting. Let's keep going. Network of pearls. So arranged that if you look at one, you see all the others reflected in it. I just love that shit, and I was like, I want to get that tattooed. Like, I don't even know, but I was like, that's so beautiful. Like, I see it in my mind. Like, and they're like, that's the universe. Like, we're all one, and they know that. And it's like, I'm so confused why we're still having this big separation, like, taught in school if the government knows that. Because I really thought the government was, like, controlling the education systems. But I'm still learning and I'm trying to connect the dots and this has been my life path for a while. And I talked about it once to my hairdresser and she said I should keep talking about it. So I'm going to. And I was actually doing it on TikTok live stream, but I was permanently banned. Yes, permanently. I wrote three um, little messages uh, to them to be like, I didn't do anything wrong. Honestly, I think it might have been the controversy issues unless... I don't know. I don't want to incriminate myself. So I'm just going to say it here. I did nothing. Truly, honestly. <laughs> but um, this is truth. Like this is out. This is on our government's website. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, let's keep going. A. Achieve enhanced brain focus include hemisphere synchronization. So that's a goal of this. Add REM sleep um, to induce left brain hypnotic suggestion. Focus 12 exercises, repeat A and B, out of body experience will occur, be remembered. Stage F, repeat E to achieve uh, out of body experience under conscious control. G, focus 21, stay escape from time space, interact with new dimensions from out of body perspective. This is all in our CIA government's document. All right, I'm going to stop saying it because I probably sound crazy. and we get to actually explore this knowledge because it's online so let's go to step step h have three people go out of body and tune into the same target on different planes so like looking at things in remote viewing states i encourage individuals involved in the experiments to remove personal energy blockages so clear their chakras pretty much j be intellectually prepared to encounter intelligent energy forms when time space boundaries are exceeded. They're talking about cosmic gnomes up there. That's what they're going to see. They're going to see elves and they're going to see gnomes. And I could tell. I don't know why, but that's just my, my hunch. Okay, groups of people in Focus 21 state unite consciousness, build holographic patterns around possible unwanted out-of-body presences that one kind of threw me off because I was like what are they viewing that then other souls other people that would be on earth right would be viewing or maybe out-of-body presences like other species other entities I'm not sure this is getting long but it had to be said and it had to be made build holographic patterns last step of successful att uh, attainment progress through gateway system. I believe that was it on my notes. And that was really it on the article because I read through the whole thing and tried to take notes on like everything that, you know, was really interesting and really important. Um, honestly, I really hope this was interesting 
and really, you know, made you think or like made you want to at least understand more of this type of knowledge for yourself being like, wow, like, this is confirmed by our government that all this shit's real that all these woo woo spiritual people that sounded crazy for a really long time have been maybe saying or talking about this whole spiritual aspect. But at the end of the day, we are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience on earth. And as much as it can be hard sometimes and it can be really like rough out there, I got your back. I'm here for you. And I know that the universe is here for you too. And the universe is here for all of us. And so we don't have anything to worry about. The divine plan is being played out exactly how it needs to be. And if you feel like you're not on the path, don't worry, you're on the path. So never give up on yourself and constantly just, you know, live your truth, seek your knowledge, do your passion and live life. I love you guys.